Shalom everyone. Welcome to today's Daily Grace Inspiration on Feeding on Jesus. Bible verse for meditation today is taken from the book of Romans chapter 5 verse 17. Romans chapter 5 verse 17 and I read, For if by one man's offense death reign through the one, much more those who receive abundance of grace and of, of the gift of righteousness will reign in life through the one, Jesus Christ. Amen. Today's theme for reflection is, let's talk about Jesus. We're feeding on Jesus, so let's talk about Jesus. Amen. Amen. Brethren, in a time when everyone is talking about the COVID-19 virus, let's choose to talk about Jesus instead. Don't keep drawing the internet for the latest articles and news about the virus there are many there may be a lot of chatter and news about the virus but we don't have to make the only thing we talk about we don't have to make it the only thing to talk about instead talk about jesus whether it is to whether it is to your kids friends or family even though it might seem like the virus is raining, raining, it will not last. Did you hear that? COVID-19 may seem to be raining, but it won't last. Because abundance of grace is what we heard from today's Bible verse. As we read in today's Bible verse, means we can never preach too much about grace. We are those we are those who believe and receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. As in today's verse, gift of righteousness, righteousness is a right standing with God. Today, because of what Jesus has done for us at the cross, we stand in the place where Christ stood. And now we are the righteousness of God in Christ. It's not the reward of righteousness, it's the gift of righteousness. This righteousness that we have is a gift. Brethren, we did not earn it by our own efforts. Jesus fully paid for it. What happens to those who receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness? Any idea? They will reign in life. Of course, we will reign in life. The word says that in the end times, there will be pestilences and great earthquakes but they are not from God the event we are the events we see happening in the world today are signs that Jesus is coming back soon are you ready for his second coming mm. the disciples asked Jesus about the sign of his coming and Jesus re reply was take heed that no one deceives you for many will come in my name saying I am the Christ and will deceive many. Matthew chapter 24 verses 4 and 5. For many will come in my name say, saying, I am the Christ and will, and will deceive many. In the last days, we will see leaders who will point people to themselves and not to Jesus. True churches will always glorify Jesus. The pastor will always point the people to Jesus not to himself or herself the devil is always afraid when he sees god moving the devil provides quick fixes but the ways of god have lasting impact and they stand the test of time as children of god brethren we don't have to fear what the world fears we don't have to let the we don't have to let the fear cripple us even then let be wise and practice good hygiene habits and take the necessary actions when we are feeling unwell. Amen? Brethren, let's talk about Jesus. Despite the, uh, the news surrounding COVID-19, we have something to talk about because we are in the world, but we are not of the world. Amen? Shalom. Share this video and encourage somebody who is crippled by the by the fear, fear of COVID-19. Let's people listen to this word of encouragement and hope. There is hope, says the Lord. 
for all those who believe in him. Amen. Shalom. Stay tuned. Click on this video and get in touch through the email. Let's celebrate your birthdays, your thanksgiving, your testimonies. How has the Feeding on Jesus platform help you? Bye-bye.